presentation is for ECE 535 at NC State, Design of Electromechanical Systems. The purpose of this project is to demonstrate one of Maxwell's equations. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the Lorentz force in a fluid. So then we can come down here and look at all of this wonderful things. Actually, first thing to demonstrate is magnet safety. I have some strong rare earth magnets. You can see they are strong enough to connect through my hand. Uh, I've gotten pinched several times. You just have to be careful, especially when they get together. They're very difficult to get apart. I think I didn't get any skin in there. I did that time. And there. We can see all the difficulties with these magnets. All right. So this project demonstrates Lorentz force, which basically for our purposes is the cross product of the current and the magnetic field. So what we have set up here is a couple of electrodes made out of tin foil, and they're sitting in a nice Tupperware container that I take my lunch in, and a pool of nice salty water. And then I've put the magnets that I just discussed right in there. And if you remember from the right hand rule, that if we have an electric field that's pointing, or magnetic field that's pointing up, and the electric field is going to go from, actually, this way, we should experience a force towards the wall this way. If this indeed is north, if it's south, we'll see the water turn this way. So let's hook it up and see what happens. All right, so we switched from the aluminum foil to some copper electrodes. You can still see mostly what we have is electrolysis, but the water is uh, stirring a little bit in this direction towards me. If I switch the leads, flow should turn around. The copper's breaking apart. And it does look like the flow has turned. Seems All right, so what we have here is what I've made for a electrohydrodynamic pump. What I've done is taken four of the rare earth magnets and aligned them so the magnetic field is going to be pointing up. I've stuck in two copper electrodes on the side perpendicular to that. It's the same law we've been discussing for this whole video. Lorentz's law, the cross product of the current and the magnetic field should produce a force. So let's stick it in the water and see what happens. So what I've got here is a pool of very salty water in a Tupperware container. We'll stick the pump in and hopefully what should happen is we should see water flow going through the pump. Moving a little bit. I pull it up and start to see a little bit more flow, provided the electrodes stay in the water. This is about the same amount of flow as before. Nothing too. Spectacular. I would imagine if I had resources for a stronger power supply, we could get some more uh, flow through there.